guys. What's up, fam? So listen, <laughs> I, I'm so excited because in years I have not found a moist fruit cake. Now I know a lot of people don't like fruit cake, but when we grew up, when we would go down to Memphis to visit my grandmother back in the '70s. She had a fruit cake that was shaped like a pound cake, and it came in the tin, you know, the tin that the cookies are in, little right? Little blue metal tin. And they would always have this little noisy paper around it. <laughs> that was the most moist, the least delicious, look at me, delicious, <laughs> the most moist, delicious fruit cake that you'll ever have. This is bringing, it's nostalgia for me because I tried a couple and they were not good. The best I found was at the dollar store years ago and then they didn't carry it anymore because mm. every other fruit cake I had is like eating dry bread. But this, my friends, I hope I got it. The right I think way. so. You could feel the moisture like feel it and it's already sliced up for you feel the moisture mm. okay now we want to be clean about this y'all where my spray now i wash my hands but i just left the store so i'm gonna spray my hands again you gonna have some i'll have some I'm going to tell you what it is about fruitcake now. There's some of them that had these little orange, yellow, and green bits that's really, really solid and hard. And yeah, some of them are like yeah. messed up. If y'all making fruitcake, whatever those little bits are, just leave those bits out. We want the nuts, the cherry, and the fruitcake-y cakiness of it. Now, that's him talking, not me, because I love every bit of it. <laughs> okay, so. You got some hand wipes over there, don't you? Yes. Yeah. Give me those too, because you know the uh, spray could have a nasty little aftertaste on it. These these don't give you that taste. Like when you're eating, these don't give you that nasty taste on your food. Okay. Look, we greedy. Look how we <laughs> <laughs> rubbing our hands all hard. We're like, ooh. <laughs> fruitcake. Don't y'all be in these comments talking about you don't like no fruitcake, baby, because this is... There are some bad fruitcakes out there. It is, but you got to meet the right one. You know what I'm oh, saying? I'm, I'm hopeful that this might be the right one. I've, I've had like two great fruitcakes and about 15 bad ones. Yeah. So I'm hoping this might be the new good let's, one. Let's, let's savor the flavor. Mmm. Mmm, <laughs> smell it. Oh, okay. That, yeah. that's, that's a good sign. That's a Ooh, good sign. I smell the gummies. I smell the gummies. I see the little gummies in there. You know, I know it's not actually gummies, but whatever those, I think it's like lemon peel or something. I don't know what that is. Ooh, I'm going to get us two pieces out. Okay. Since this is my fruitcake, I'm giving you the smaller piece. Okay. Here. It's your <laughs> okay. Let's go into it. We're not going to talk until we get all the flavor in. Gotcha. You ready? Let's I'm go. Ready. Naval base right now. Score. It has the the yellows and the green bits in it, Bring but they're hand. good. Ooh, baby. All we need is a glass of black coffee. Mm -hmm. When I eat sweets, I don't. I can't make my coffee sweet. My yeah. coffee has to be just straight black. Okay. When well, I tell you. That was, what's the brand of that? Village Fair. Village Fair Fruitcake. Mm, mm, mm. It ain't the best, but it's It ain't very the best, good. but it's the best I've had in a It's in the best years. I've had in like five years, for real. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I had one that was just nuts and cherries and fruitcake mix. They left all the other bits out, but this is really good. If you're gonna have the bits in there, don't let them be hard and too hard. You can't even bite into it and stuff. These are good. Can I get another slice of your fruit cake? Mm -hmm. She says it's her fruit cake, y'all. <laughs> Listen, that was good. Mm. I can't eat much of it because it's super sweet. 
I forgot how sweet it was. But if you have some black coffee with this, just straight it's black really coffee. Good. Ooh. Listen. Out of 10, I will give this an 8. That's fair. I will give this an 8 out of 10. What's your number? 8. Got a little fruitcake, baby. Now, that's one thing I'm never going to learn how to cook because, <laughs> you know, a couple slices per year is good enough. It's not like a cake that you eat all the time, like mm -hmm. you eat a standing up cake or rum cake, stuff like that. It's not that. It's mostly nostalgia. It's a holiday food. tradition. It's a holiday tradition, just like eggnog. Yeah. But I love eggnog, but we only drink it in Christmas time. At so. Christmas time. Now, I could drink eggnog all year round, to be honest with you, but you can't get it. <laughs> I'm telling you, that was a great piece of rum cake. That was. Uh, fruit I mean fruitcake <laughs> Alright fam I just had to share that with you So if you're looking for one Village fair is one I don't want any recipes or anything like that Because I'm not going to make it We're not going to make it, make it. There you It's go. just cheaper to do this Because I've tried to make Well not make I've, When I share this with my kids My grandchildren They refuse to eat it Donald, yeah. Donald is the first person Besides any of my siblings That will eat a piece oh. of fruitcake Like I've introduced it to my friends and they thought it was really weird. So I'm gonna tell you, when I worked at AT&T, <laughs> after Christmas, <laughs> when I got back to my desk, always full of fruitcake. Stacks of fruitcake. <laughs> so like <laughs> I'm just like, hey, I, I mean, I, I couldn't really eat it because, you know, Christmas was over, but yeah. I appreciated the gesture. <laughs> But after Christmas, I would have fruitcake. And they thought they would, it was funny. I hear Peggy. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> but anyway, good. it is. All right, so I just thought we would share that with you. Okay, guys, we'll see you in the next clip. Hey, fam. So, it is later, <laughs> the first night that we got here. And so, <laughs> I don't even know how to say it, but. Anyway, we have to run back to the house real quick in the morning because we just had some personal, something personal come up and we have to go back to the house. And I'm just like, I'm trying to make everything nice because we're going to have a nice romantic night, first night back in the RV. But we can't because Donald had to go make a run. And when he left, I didn't know how to turn on the doggone uh, propane. So we're having breakfast for dinner. So right now, I'm making Donald some of my potatoes. We're gonna have just sausage and potatoes for dinner. Just something to put in our bellies. My I mean, favorite, one of my three favorite Peggy meals. So we got the chicken and dumplings and we got the shrimp and the grits. But we also had the breakfast potatoes. Now, potatoes don't sound like a meal by itself, but I think Piggy made breakfast potatoes with onions for me probably our second or third month into our marriage, not knowing whether I would like it or not. And whilst I ate the whole dang frying pan, she had her little bit, she put a little cheese on hers, a little bit of hot sauce. I wasn't eating hot sauce back then. I wasn't putting hot sauce on my stuff, but she put some hot sauce on hers and cheese and everything. And she made me a plate, and then, boy, I dang near fell in love all over again. And it so I, my... I've asked her to make it like so many times. <laughs> I, I got him with my cooking ladies. I, I had to reel him in with all my old recipes, and he, he fell for it. That's one of the things she got me with. It's her beauty. <laughs> she, she, <laughs> she was like, all right, now, player. <laughs> Careful what you say. <laughs> yeah, look. So, this is what I tell Donald all the time. I'm like, so, y'all know, sometimes we be looking whooped in the morning, like mm -hmm. a ooga booga in the morning. Okay. And I'm like, I have my wig off, my braids point east, south, oh, west, yeah. north. And he'll roll over and say, you are so beautiful. Good morning, beautiful. And I'm like, <laughs> man, if you don't get out of here with that mess. She always get upset me for that, but <laughs> I'm hey. like, say it when it's real. like, cause It if, is real. If you say it when I know I'm looking jacked up, it, it don't mean the same. I'm like, now I know my little plaits sticking up this way, this way, this way, and that way. And then he gonna talk about, baby, you are so beautiful. I kiss a little forehead with those braids sticking up in all kinds of directions and everything. I don't care. I would do it. 
That's yeah, what I you do. You do it, but we know we're not cute at that time. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know what we. Y'all don't know what we find Baby, attractive. Look, okay. Y'all think we all want the same type of girl? No, we don't. Nobody said that. That's don't. not. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying <laughs> I know I'm jacked up at this moment. <laughs> I just like to make sure she know how I feel about her. That's my beautiful wife. She has a hard time taking compliments to her. Even when she's put together, you know, she's feeling snatched and everything. I said, baby, you are gorgeous. She was like, oh, stop it. You don't know. She just, it's hard for her to take a compliment, but I'm gonna still do it. I have a hard time too, though. I don't, I don't take a, I don't take compliments very well, but. But at least if I look the part, I could say, okay, I could see why he still has an eye for the pigster. But not when I'm looking like, I just got hit by a bus. If you can't love them in the morning, when can you love them? <laughs> now, I ain't jacked up every morning now. No. <laughs> Don't even do it, player. I won't, I won't, I won't. I do smile all the time. My cheeks are way up. Oh, okay. That's because you finna get these damn potatoes. That's, 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 why. that's one of the reasons why I'm smiling right now because the potatoes are coming out. Get those dang breakfast breakfast potatoes. You don't even need to put a K in. It. It's just breakfast. 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 So I'm going to let Peggy finish this up, and we'll come back in the next clip, fam. All right, fam. So this is our dinner. There it is. <laughs> breakfast for dinner. Best idea I've heard in a long time. Yep. It's just been a stressful day, so I am going to eat my dinner, probably have me a glass of wine, and call it a night. I used to over salt these potatoes when she made them and stuff. Now I just, she makes it exactly right. I don't need to add salt. I shouldn't add salt. She's gotten me used to having less salt. That's what yeah. I should say. We have to watch our salt intake. We're getting older. So, yeah, I tell Donald all the time. I'm like, because you see people do it at restaurants all the time. They salt their food even before they taste it. I used to do that. And I'm like, how do you know it needs salt? Like, taste it first. <laughs> no, you hate eating potatoes without salt on it, but you just got to taste it first. And I'm glad I do. Yeah. So, anyway, fam, um, we will see you guys in the morning. All right. All righty.